In so many ways, the 2023 Saints are really frustrating. They seem so close to being a pretty good team, but getting over that hump has been really difficult. Now, the Saints are five and seven on the season. Five of those losses have come by one score. That's eight points or less. And of course, the latest example, Sunday against the Lions, and it was frustrating. Now, we're going to talk mostly big picture stuff tonight, but let's start our four takeaways with the only stat that really mattered in this game. You know what didn't matter? in this game the Saints were perfect four for four scoring touchdowns in the red zone now that did keep them close but it obviously wasn't enough and they actually outgained the Lions overall which seemed impossible when it was 21 to nothing the singular stat that mattered the Saints were minus two in turnover margin beating a really good Detroit team was going to be hard enough Minus two made it insurmountable. The Saints needed somebody on defense to make a play. That never happened, and the Lions converted both of the Saints' turnovers into short TD drives, so it was 14 to nothing in points off of turnovers. And turnover margin has been a telling stat all season. When turnovers are close, that's plus one, minus one, or even, the Saints are three and four. They're roughly 500. When they're winning the turnover margin, plus two or better, they're unbeaten. And when they're losing it, Minus two or worse, they're 0-3. That includes Sunday. And simply put, they could not overcome that turnover margin. Let's get to the real question looming over this team right now. It's about the coach. And it's actually two questions. Should Dennis Allen be back next season? And will Dennis Allen be back next season? These are very different questions. At number three, here's the simple case for Dennis Allen. Down 21 to nothing to a legitimate playoff team the Saints were done it was over I think everyone thought that except maybe for the Saints team their fight when it should have been over shows again that Dennis Allen inspires that fight in his team and that means something but at number two simply put the problem is they're just not getting it done Dennis Allen was hired to continue Sean Payton's legacy with the Saints but in 29 games now in New Orleans Dennis Allen's record record is 12 and 17 with the Saints. If you include his time as the Raiders head coach, he is now 20 and 45 as a head coach. Obviously, this record does not inspire a lot of confidence. And here's a real problem. The Saints are now losing their fan base. Derek Carr was booed every time he came on and off the field. And I don't ever remember seeing more opposing fans in the Superdome, which brings us to number one. The big finish is here. Five games to go. Right now, the Saints have zero margin for error. Both the Falcons and the Bucks won this week. Those final five games, though, include one each against Tampa Bay and Atlanta. And nobody on the remaining schedule has a winning record. Dennis Allen got the quarterback he wanted, and the NFC South is a disaster. I do think if the Saints don't get to the playoffs this season, they should make a coaching change. But will they? I do think it's possible, but I think the next five weeks will determine that, and I think it could go either way. And that's our four takeaways from the Saints losing at home to the Lions.